Hey y'all, welcome back to the Wade Fishing Experience. Today, my friends, I want to talk to you about Red Tide, the current state of what we are seeing in Tampa Bay and the developments um, we have seen since last week. However, let's start with some encouraging news. Um, down here, we have the Piney Point area. This was where the spill disaster occurred and where the largest blooms of red tide and the highest concentrations were found when this outbreak began. And as we zoom out, you can see these black and white dots represent either no concentrations of Corinia brevis or background concentrations, which means like very low. So this is awesome news. This is very encouraging. This was the hardest hit area um, and it, it just was, it was devastating down there. Um, at, at, soon after the spill, you know, we saw this kick up and just, just amplify very quickly. So though, to see those levels drop is, is huge for Tampa Bay right now. Also, what we are seeing from the blooms and concentrations that appear to be pushing north after um, Tropical Storm Elsa came through have subsided. And the, the blooms are actually, the concentration levels are, are lowering as well. So on the tip of the peninsula down here, like around Picnic Island, this was a red dot last week um, and it was closer to shore. So it's good. I mean, that's still bad that it's a medium concentration, but we'll take the, you know, the upgrade, so to speak. And then we also last week had levels moderate levels all the way up into old Tampa Bay and actually all the way past north of 275. As you can see, those levels have receded. We are we have only got background concentrations right now north of 275. I can confirm this. I was at Cypress Point Park on Wednesday and everything looked great. There was no dead fish. There was no bad smell. The water looked absolutely normal for this time of year. And I saw plenty of bait and uh, a bunch of redfish, y'all, um, honestly. So it was just uh, great to see those fish. Um, I know, you know, it's not lost on me that we have seen tons of dead fish. It's tons, y'all. It's really bad. But it's just nice to see signs of life and signs of the red tide receding. We will take that all day. Join me in continued prayer for our estuaries, y'all. It is just important that we continue to pray about this. If you have not gotten involved with Tampa Bay Waterkeeper, the Coastal Conservation Association, or Captains for Clean Water, please do so. I really encourage y'all to get involved. I will post links to all those sites below, along with a link to the FWC's map, right, that we're looking at, so you can check out the levels in your area. Aside from Tampa Bay, um, unfortunately, St. Pete is still pr hit pretty hard. Um, downtown is still pretty bad. And really, though, the beaches from St. Pete Beach north all the way, you know, to Indian Rocks and, and even Clearwater, it's just really bad right now. Um, it, it's just terrible. So, you know, we will continue to also pray not only for the estuary, but for those folks whose livelihoods, you know, depend on the water and, and um, just keeping those folks in our prayers and praying that this, this all of this subsides quickly. So. That is the that is the update for this week. It is July 22nd, Thursday. Heading into the weekend, I am encouraged that the, the levels are receding and that we are seeing <clears throat> the, the, the outbreak subside. So thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And uh, I will provide another update next week. Cheers, y'all.